you know what? I'm never going to stop looking, never going to uh, stop having the, uh, the adventure of seeing what, what's next on the shelf when you go looking for books. <laughs> Well, hey, welcome back to another episode of Bailey the Bookman. Today we are going to go to a thrift store and uh, just, you know, scan the shelves, see what we can see, uh, see if there's any interesting, uh, you know, knickknacks, odds and ends, and definitely we'll look at the books. I was thinking maybe uh, do some garage sales today, but, you know, I looked through the list and boy, there's a lot of baby stuff that I don't think, you know, book guys really are all that interested in. Okay, going to load up in the truck and we're going to head over. I don't often go through the paperback sections here, but uh, we're going to have a look today, especially in this uh, particular genre. Uh, some of the very early paperback uh, versions of these books are the most valuable, as they were the first publications. So let's just look along here. So we're looking for like Heinlein's, Herbert. Okay, Dick. Oh, there's the uh, the Gore series. Some of those earlier printings are. Oh, hold on, what's this? Oh my gosh. Oh, the man himself. The artwork. Okay. Well, now I'm getting excited. Copyright 1956. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if uh, Ace was the first publisher of this or not, but uh, we're certainly going to look into this one. Well, it's described as a young and rising star. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, this has uh, been quite interesting so far. We got some. Uh, Ursula K. Le, Le Guin, I think. Uh, some early stuff by her. What, and what's attracted me here is the publishers. And then I looked at the authors. So, uh, Early Daw, um, Ace, um, Del Rey's, some of those. Uh, I'm not completely familiar with all of these authors, but what they have are uh, stated first printings with number lines to one. Now, this one. You can see it says it's a first printing, September 1982, but it starts with the number 2. So that is not the first printing. That's the second printing. Otherwise, it would start with a 1. Okay, we're going to keep looking. Okay, we are back at the shop with all of our uh, finds from the thrift store this morning. Um, so let's have a look and see uh, what we can find out or what I found out about the Philip K. Dick book and a couple of the other titles as well. Okay, here's a kind of a representative selection of, uh, of the paperbacks that we found uh, this morning. Uh, this fellow, I got I picked up quite a few of his titles, Ron Goulart. Um, I'd never heard of this uh, writer before. Uh, interesting artwork, as you can see. Uh, but not, you know, really valuable. Uh, probably, you know, the five ten dollar range. Uh, Ursula K. Le Guin, very uh, well respected uh, writer in the uh, science fiction genre. Uh, again, here's another uh, writer I'm unfamiliar with, Alan Burt. Ackers, but look at the artwork. Uh, and this is from early 70s, so uh, a few of us may remember some album covers that looked like that. Okay, here's the Philip K. Dick book, The World Jones Made. Uh, 
And uh, I think we looked at it earlier. I'll, we'll look again, and it says copyright 1956. That is the copyright. That is not the year it was published, unfortunately. So uh, I had hoped this book was going to be uh, worth upwards of $800 to $1,000 US. It is not. About 15 bucks. Um, the re <laughs> hey, you know, the hunt is uh, the fun part. The, the money is secondary. Uh, this was actually printed in 1967. Uh, and we can tell because it's the ACE publication F429 with a 40 cent price on it. The very first one was uh, like they used to do in the 50s. They would have this book on this side and then on the back they would attach a second book with a different author and they would do these doubles as they kind of called them. Anyway, here's the stack of stuff that I've got. Um, not going to retire you know, oh well, who wants to retire anyway? But I've got some really cool vintage uh, science fiction pocket books, and they range anywhere from, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 bucks uh, in that neighborhood. And I should also just mention that I have um, some very cool uh, of the pulp science fiction magazines from the 40s and 50s. Uh, these are the English editions of the Astounding Science Fiction. And again, look at the artwork on these. Just, just amazing. And uh, here's another one. If, World of Science Fiction, August 1955. Good Lord, this thing's older than me. Uh, Isaac Asimov, we all recognize that name. Look down here in the corner. Philip K. Dick. Yep. Well, that was a fun day today. I really enjoyed that because I actually explored uh, some books that I don't typically really ever have explored, and that's uh, paperbacks. I've always specialized in hardcovers, and uh, maybe I'll stick with those because <laughs> I didn't hit any home runs. But it sure was a lot of fun. Uh, and you know what? I'm never going to stop looking, never going to... Uh, stop having the uh, the adventure of seeing what what's next on the shelf when you go looking for books thanks for stopping in and uh, checking this episode out we'll see you next time on the next episode Bailey the Bookman.